Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Robert with Craps for Life. I uh, just want to welcome everybody to the channel. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a little heads up. My wife and I, we just got back about two hours ago. We did a Mississippi Gulf Coast uh, casino run. And uh, I've got to, I just wanted to give everybody some uh, details of uh, what to expect now going to a casino. Uh, how things have changed uh, for the better and a few for the worse. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started off. We, uh, we went to eight different casinos uh, in three days. We were there Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And this is Wednesday. We just got back today. We, uh, we stayed in Gulfport. Everything was wonderful. The casino staff, the hotel staff, everybody was fabulous. Uh, food is excellent. Uh, the changes in the food in the casinos, uh, they have to serve you now. You cannot touch any food. They have uh, no drink stations set up anymore. Hand sanitizers are everywhere. Uh, they have the little little square sanitizer pads they put on every seat where the uh, or all the slot machines are playing where you're playing slots. The uh, casino staff, everybody in the, that works for the casino has to wear a mask. There's no no exceptions. The patrons do not have to wear a mask if you don't want to. I would. I would venture to say that probably 50% of the people uh, that were there playing, the patrons, had masks on. It didn't affect anything or anybody. Everybody was there to have a good time. The uh, slot machines in all eight casinos were a little tight. They. Uh, we did not see anybody hit any big jackpots in the three days we were there. Uh, two, three, four hundred dollar jackpots, that's about all that we've seen that was paid out. The way they have the slot machines set up now, say if you have a bank of four or six slot machines, they'll have this one with a chair, this one with a chair, and this one with a chair. And out of the six, three will be operational, and only and three won't be. If you're in a say a bank of four machines, they'll have the end ones that'll be operational, and the, the others are shut down. I would probably say that about two thirds of the slot machines in the casinos are shut down right now. But it doesn't really seem to affect the patrons that are there. Everybody was there and playing and having a good time. There wasn't any big crowds. Uh, like, you know, normally the casinos are packed with people. You could pretty much walk around the three, like I said, the three days we were there. Sunday, we got there Sunday about lunchtime. We played Sunday night, all day Monday and Tuesday. And you could pretty much go to uh, any of the table games. Uh, any of the slot machines and, and find a machine or a game pretty pretty readily. They're, they were they were there, you know, pretty easily to find a game. Uh, on all the table games, as far as the uh, all the card games, they were three patrons to a table. Some of the tables and some of the casinos had the the plastic up. A lot of them didn't. I didn't play any poker or any, uh, well really, no. there's no poker to be played. They haven't any, opened up any of the poker rooms yet. Uh, sports betting is all open. Craps tables, uh, there's a minimum of uh, six players per table, three on each end. And if you get out of a space or something, they will tell you, hey, you need to move over. Or if you get too close to a table, and you're not playing, they'll ask you to step back six foot. They're doing, the, the casinos are doing an excellent job 
on their social distancing, sanitizing. Uh, we noticed that, you know, after I'd play craps for a little while, uh, we'd get off of that and go sit down and play a slot machine for a few minutes. As soon as you got up from it, there was somebody there to wipe that machine down. They'd spray it with some kind of stuff and they'd wipe it all down. Everything was clean. Everything, that's chairs, anything it, you know, someone would touch is clean. So they're, they're, they're doing a wonderful job of, of maintaining uh, what the Mississippi uh, uh, Casino Board has, has put forward to them doing. Uh, what else? Uh, in a lot, there's uh, hand sanitizers stations in all, everywhere you look. A lot of the higher end casinos down there, uh, they have uh, set up like wash stations, hand wash stations, uh, sinks, soap, water, towels. Uh, it, it's it's really set up really nice. We, uh, like I said, my wife and I, we had a wonderful time. You know, like we were gone three days. Uh, didn't win a lot of money. We brought back a little bit, but uh, it wasn't all about so much going down and winning money. It was just going down and get away. You know, after being cooped up with it COVID for the last three months, we just wanted a little vacation, and uh, we had a blast. So. I would uh, I would recommend if you're you know planning on going down to any of the Mississippi Gulf Coast casinos, uh, you'll have a great time. The food is wonderful. Uh, just be prepared. Uh, the oh, there's one other thing I need to mention to you too. The uh, price of the games has gone up. There's no more five dollar tables anywhere. Everything is ten, fifteen, or twenty five dollar table games now. Uh, slot machines are all pretty much all the same thing. Uh, I think that's uh, that's about it. I just wanted to give everybody kind of a heads up. Uh, and if you need any more information or anything, just uh, leave me some comments below. And if you like all this, just like and subscribe. And I'll definitely be doing some more videos here pretty soon. But I just, like I said, I just got home and I wanted to go ahead and give a shout out to everybody and sort of let you know what was happening down there and um, y'all have a great day and this is Robert we're out